Good morning, everyone. Um, good afternoon, good evening, whatever. Um, it's morning here. Um, today I'm going to make the third card in the um, Taddy Treasure postcard challenge. So there are um, a different card every week. Um, so we've done two already. The first one was down on the farm. The second one was um, artists. This one is, um, I think it's honeycomb. Um, and the last one is, um, what are you thankful for? I think. So, um, I have a few things here kind of on my, on my desk. So I wanted to show you what I have. So I have my card already cut. So it's, um, four by six. And then um, I have some things. These are from the Summer's Bounty Kit um, from the Junk Journal Studio. And she has a whole, um, I mean, there's so much stuff in that kit. Like, I, I'm not even sure I could tell you all of it. Um, but it's, um, she has a whole bunch of stuff that's bee related. So I, um, I pulled a bunch of this stuff out and I just wanted to kind of show it to you and um, show you what what is there. So, um, and then I have a bunch of lace and ribbon and just other random, random bits and pieces in here. Um, some book pages and um, actually those are not book pages. Those are also from the, I think these are the freebie pages um, that go with this kit. Um, so I think I had those from the last, the last card I made. So we might use those too as backing pages. But one of the things that I have is she has this envelope and it's one of these kind of, kind of envelopes like this. And um, I like it, um, but I like the, the honeycomb on it. And I thought it would be kind of cool actually to put it on the edge of this postcard, one of these flaps. So I'm gonna cut out, and I actually think I like this one right here, I think. Maybe this one, let me see. Oh, maybe this one. So I'm just gonna cut this off the card, and I'm just gonna use my scissors because there's already kind of a crease there for me to follow, and I'm not going to be too stressed about it because I am going to ink the edge of it too. So I thought I'd start with this and I think I'm going to make this card this way. So I kind of liked it because it looks like it's the flap of an envelope. Um, so we could make this kind of a tuck that could go behind. Um, because there's also a couple of cool tags in this kit. There's this one, which would be kind of cool to put behind it. Um, and then there's also this one that goes... <clears throat> behind and then I have some other little B things and this little this little tag too so um, I think what I'm going to do is just kind of collage this up a little bit so let me move some of this out of the way so again this is from um, this page is from her I think it was the the free add-on part of it um, but, um, I liked some of this stuff. Like I kind of like this, like, you know, the flowers with bees and, and there's also this thing that says herbs right here. So, um, and this old fashioned garden kind of piece. Um, so I think I'm going to collage with some of this. And then I also have, what else do I have in here? This is from, oh, I, this might be cool on here too, to make a little pocket. This is from, and I bet you I have the other piece in here too. This is from the uh, Midnight Meadow kit from um, Taddy Treasure and um, Nanine, um, a collage type. From, so Tanya and, and um, that. And I want to, hold on, let me pull some of this stuff out because I have a bunch of, I have just a bunch of random, randomness in here. Um, I got a kit, I got a, a little thing in the mail from somebody and they gave me a bunch of like stamped things and 
Um, so I've kind of been keeping some things together because I want to use some of these things. I'm working on another project too. Some of these things go in with that project. Um, these are buttons. Maybe I'll put a button on. That might be fun. Um, anyway, I was looking for, sorry, got very distracted there, didn't I? The other half of, um, and maybe it's not in this. Maybe it's not in this. Okay, I don't think it's in this. So um, I had, um, this is from the Midnight Meadow kit. And I don't know if that will go on there like that very well. I don't think so. So I'm going to keep this. We're just going to use this for right now. Grab my ruler. So I'm just going to tear this this little tag of kind of looks like, I don't know, maybe Heather or um, something. And let's rip this white edge off if I can. If not, I might have to get the trimmer. Sometimes I'm not very good at this part. All right, that worked pretty well. So maybe put this down here. Because remember, I'm going to glue this on, but I'm not actually going to have it be a flap. But I might have, I might not glue the whole thing down. So I might make it so it could be a tuck spot, but I do think I'm going to have to push that all the way up there so it hides that. See if I had this down here, you'd be able to find this. So I think I'm going to put that all the way up there. So I hope everybody is doing well. It is, uh, winter has definitely come to my part of the world. Um, it is cold and it is snowing. It is actually snowing. Oh, it kind of stopped. It was snowing a minute ago. I think today it's going to kind of snow on and off. Um, and, um, Oh, I don't want to, I think I want that. So I think I might tear that off first. Um, so it's definitely snowing here. Um, and winter has definitely come. So it started snowing about this time last year too. Um, I don't really know um, what, um, what the... We've only lived here a year, so we only have one winter to go by. <laughs> and, um, you know, there were times last year. Oh, I just got fabric on my thing. There were times last year when it was pretty, pretty harrowing. Let me, I'm not going to lie. Um, it is pretty, pretty crazy cold um, up here in the northern part of the world. Um, but I like it. I, I love the season, so I don't really want to live anywhere where there's not seasons. Um, you know, I mean, if I lived, if I lived somewhere down South, um, I think I would have to come and be part of the season somehow. I don't know. I mean, it, it would be really hard for me to not, um, To not live somewhere where, um, especially fall. Fall is my favorite. Okay, totally messed that up. So we're just going to hand tear that. Um, yeah, fall is fall is my favorite. I don't I don't really know how I could how I could do without it. I didn't even tear that very good. With the ruler. Um, so I'm just going to tear it this way. So, um, hope everybody else is doing well. It is, um, I don't know. I think I, when I checked the temperature this morning, um, right before I started here, it was 25 outside. So slightly on the chilly side, but again, I don't know. I think I don't know, maybe when I get older, like I'll be like, yeah, winter, winter's a little overrated. But um, 
I don't mind the snow too, too much. Like I can deal with it for a little bit, but um, when it starts to get, um, I don't know. It's like when it starts to hang on for a while, it's like, you know what? I, I've, I think I've had enough of this now. I, I think we could, we could pass with this now. Um, but yeah, I think that's probably, uh, a thing. I don't know if I want this to go this way. So it's kind of out on the edge of this card. I just didn't tear it very well right there, but I'm actually not so frustrated about that part. Um, so I need something to go there. Now, I also do have, um, and I actually really love this circle. So I'm thinking about putting that on there like that. Um... Anyway, so I do hope that everybody is having a a good week. Um, we are getting ready for, for those of you not here in the U.S., we are getting ready for uh, Thanksgiving here. So, um... I just got a, my job gave me a turkey, a free turkey for, um, for work, which is kind of cool. Um, so we got a free turkey and then, um, we got, um, I just bought some things at the grocery store this past yesterday or maybe earlier in the week, um, for, for Thanksgiving dinner. So I have some, um, I have some, I have our stuffing, st all the stuff to make stuffing. I have all the stuff to make that nasty. Um, I don't like it, but other people do. Um, that green bean casserole. I just think it's horrible. I just think it's ugh, gross. But people like it, so I make it. Um, so I bought all the stuff to make that. <laughs> I don't know. I love green beans. Don't get me wrong. Green beans, I love. Green beans and cream mushroom soup. Mm. That just does not. That just does not sound appetizing to me. I'm sorry. For those of you who like it, I apologize. It's not my thing. I think that um, <laughs> we we have this funny joke, and I actually should probably be telling this story next week when it's more Thanksgiving-y, but um, some of you might want it. And if you do want it, let me know, and I'll send you the recipe. Um, my mother, who I love dearly, um, makes this she she makes jello salads for quite a few of our different um holidays so my favorite my i have two brothers so we each kind of have our own favorite and we each she makes one different one for each holiday so for easter she makes my favorite which is um i'm gonna try to get this right so it's cherry jello um, and you, when you mix the, when you cook it, the jello in the pot with the water, hot water, you put in um, a bag of Red Hots. And I don't know if it's a bag, it might only be a cup, um, but Red Hots, those little Red Hot um, candies. And then when you mix it together, when the jello is all ready, um, you know, you cool it down, um, not cool it down, but I, Think you just take it off and you mix it in whatever you're putting your jello in if you're putting it in a mold or a bowl or whatever it doesn't really matter um with applesauce and it, so it's like a cinnamon applesauce kind of jello which i love it's i could eat it probably all the time um 
my youngest brother likes the one that my mom makes at Christmas and it is um, an eggnog. So it's, it's actually um, lemon jello and eggnog. And I think it's got some other stuff in it too. I think it's got whipped cream. Um, so like Cool Whip. And um, I'm not sure what else it has in it. I'd have to look um, at the recipe. But it's got it's got other things. Now I do like that one because I like eggnog, but it's not my it's not my super favorite. I'm gonna fix. So um, so she makes that one for Christmas, and then um the um I, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it because it's how I feel. The worst one, the absolute worst one she makes at Thanksgiving. Now my middle brother loves it, and she loves it, and my dad will eat it. Um, but I think he just eats it because my dad's not super picky, like overall super picky. Um, but this one is, um, I think it's lemon and lime jello. I think it's one of each. And then it's got, um, I, I don't, I don't even want to tell you what it's got in it. I'm going to be honest. You're going to think we're crazy people. Um, I don't eat it because it's disgusting. But it's got cream of, I think it's cream of asparagus soup. I think that's what it is, cream of asparagus soup. Um, and cream, uh, it might even have cream of mushroom soup in it too. I don't really know. Um, and um, then it's got some um, other craziness in it. Um, I think she puts um, celery, chopped up celery in it, and um, maybe chopped up onion, maybe. Oh, and a green, chopped up green pepper. Um, and I, I can't remember what else is in it, because mostly because I think it's just heinous. Now, I have a copy of the recipe, um, mostly because it's um, kind of a family thing, and I've had it for a while, but I I just, I don't really know if I could ever, um, I just don't think it's something that I want to ever eat. I, have I tried it? Yeah, I tried it. So don't tell me, oh, well, if you try it, maybe you'll like it. No, I tried it. Um, yeah, it's not good. Um, but, you know, hey, if, if anybody wants to try it, um, I have a, a copy of the recipe I will be more than happy to give you. So um, if it's something you really want, then, um, you know, hit me up in the comments and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll send it to you. Um, in fact, if you do really want it, you can just email me. Um, my email is Livy Lou Jules. So it's L-I-V-I-L-O-U. J E W E L S. So Livy Lou Jewels at gmail.com. So um, if you feel like that's something that you really want to try, you want to, uh, you may torture your family at Thanksgiving, um, then sure, um, message me, send me an email, and I will send you, I'll send you the recipe. I'll send you any of the recipes actually, because I have all of them. So, um, if you're interested in trying any of them, let me know and I will send them to you. Now, the, I will just be honest with you, the, um, the applesauce, um, cinnamon one is my absolute fave. I would actually probably eat that all the time, but it's also, I think part of what makes it so good um, also is it actually is really good with ham, um, which is usually what we have on Easter. So, um, it's really good with the ham. So that's, I think partially why I like it. It tastes really good with the ham. So, okay. Enough about weird family recipes. Although I'm sure that some of you guys have some weird family recipes too. Um, so there's my little bee. 
So I'm just trying to collage a little bit on here and get this. Um, I have this little number that I kind of like and it's yellow, so it kind of goes with it. Um, I don't know where that came from. I have yellow on my hand and I don't know where it came from. Um, I must have been doing something, I don't know. Put that right there. And then I also have, um, oh, here's the top. I think I'm going to put this at the top and I think I'm just going to glue down just a little bit of the top. So it could be a tuck spot on this side. So I think I'm just going to glue down just that much of it. Just here at the top. Now, if you don't have this kit and you wanted to do something similar, you would just have to cut. It's just, you know, like half of a circle, basically, right? Or, you know, just cut a circle out and then cut it in half. So now this could tuck up underneath there, you know, or any of our other, any of our other tags could. But I think I actually might use this. Um, so, you know, I think part of the fun of this is, um, one for me, actually, I will tell you, I am actually enjoying this postcard thing because it's allowing me to kind of use up. Um, things from kits that I've used in the past that I printed out and they're just kind of sitting there and I didn't really have plans to do anything with them specifically. Um, so um, it's kind of giving me this opportunity to kind of use things up in a, in, you know, that I have kind of just sitting around in my stash. Um, and then I have, um, and it's also giving me kind of this like, um, I, I'm not much of a, um, a mass maker. It's not really my, my kind of thing, really. I just find it, um, one, I don't really have the space to store a lot of that kind of stuff. So I tend to just make things as I go, um, kind of in the, in the scheme of things, you know. Um, but I also, um, I'm finding that while I make these postcards, I'm kind of coming up with some ideas for journals that I might want to make. Like I've always kind of wanted to make a bee journal. Like I love bees. Like I would actually love, I love honey. I think that's why. Um, but I also recognize that, you know, bees are really important to our, you know, you know, part of nature and part of, you know, making sure that we have food and, you know, blah, 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 that kind of good stuff. I don't want to get into, you know, anything weird about it. But um, so I have this kind of respect for bees that I think that um, is important. And I um, want to make sure that, you know, we don't ever, you know, kind of run out of food kind of thing because we don't have bees to pollinate. Um so I, um, I love, and, and I think bees are cool. I just think they're cool in general. I really do. I just think they're super cool. I think they have, um, I, I'm fascinated by the whole idea of, you know, them being in a hive and all of that. I just think that's really very, very cool. So, um, I, I, and again, I'd, I'd, I'd actually love to have a beehive, honestly, um, mostly for the honey, but just to, you know, have bees and help the, help the world kind of thing. Um, but, um, I, um, think that a lot of people, um, 
make, I, and I'm going to go back to the idea of these tags. I think people make these tags and then they're like, what do I do with these? So um, they're kind of giving me the opportunity to be, um, use things that I, I wouldn't have used or to create things. And then I'm like, oh, wow, that's kind of cool. Maybe I, I will make a journal that is, um, you know, about bees or about whatever, right? So I'm kind of, I'm kind of liking the idea of that. So I'm just going to sew this little, this little tag on, and I guess I don't know where the holes went in that fabric. So I have these extra pieces of fabric here that are from, um, uh, just some leftover projects. So I'm just going to use them to make the little toppers here on these tags. So let's see if I can find the holes that I punched already. There we go. Um, so, um, you know, I don't know. I don't know why, um, you know, why you are making tags. I mean, if you're just making them for the, um, oh, my cats are knocking stuff over. Um, if you're just making them for the, the challenge and all of that, that's great. That's totally cool. Um, but I'm trying, I'm, I'm trying to find out, I'm trying to, I guess, think about how I can use them. Because again, I don't have a lot of room to store things. So um, to, you know, if I'm making something, I'm trying to make it for something that I'm eventually going to use. And I don't want it to be something that's just going to sit on my shelf and not not be used at some point. So um, I kind of have this um, thing where I'm like, I need to figure out how I can use this um, you know, in my, in a journal somewhere. So I, I've kind of always wanted to make a bee journal. So I will probably make a bee journal and use this in it. Oh, Mookie, you're killing me, dude. He climbs up on the shelf and then wants to get up high so he can be up and watch everything that's going on. Okay, so this one I'm going to sew on this way, I think. And put some holes in here in my tag at the very least. Try not to poke a hole in my hand, which is probably could happen at any point in time in my life poke a hole in my hand um and I still have this green thread on this needle from um the last um <laughs> the last one so I'm like I'm just gonna go ahead and use it because you know it's there and uh sometimes I think if I try to use something that's not there you know oh, I actually need to put that down there if I try to use something that's not there, um, that's not, um, you know, like I, I sometimes I throw some scraps away. I'm going to be honest with you. Again, it's partially my lack of space that causes that. Um, I don't really have the space to hold on to a ton of stuff. And, um, you know, I'm constantly getting new stuff. I mean, my mom just sent me a box yesterday of, um, it has, um, why is this not coming through here? There we go. It has, um, all these scraps of fabric, um, from when she used to make crazy quilts. So it's got like all these like scraps of fabric that she used to make these crazy quilts with, which is super cool. Um, I mean, I really like them. Um, and all the, all the scraps are pretty cool. Um, and then she sent me some, um, she had some just plain, um, muslin. 
And she also had this fabric that I am going to make a journal with. Um, I need to figure out how I'm going to do it, what I'm going to use. Um, but she sent me this fabric that my dad had brought back from when he was in the Navy. He was in the Navy in Japan. He served um, over there. And um, he had... Um, brought back I guess this fabric beautiful oh my gosh beautiful silk kind of brocade kind of thing um with a little Japanese village scene on it and um so antique fabric this fabric's been my grandmother actually made a dress out of it um and um my mom ended up ha getting it and um, there were parts of it that had kind of, I think, fallen apart. But she, um, my mom, so my mom kind of ripped it up in some bigger pieces. And she sent me a couple of pieces. And then she, I think she kept a couple of herself. So um, we have this fabric um, from Japan that is, it's beautiful, gorgeous fabric. And I want to make a, a, a cover a journal cover out of it. So I'm going to do that and then um, make a journal. So um, I think this is my finished tag. I'm, I'm thinking I need something here, but I don't really know. Um, I have the little bag of, what did I do with it? Um, here it is. I have the little bag with all the B parts in it from that kit, the the junk journal studio kit and I have um so I have that which is kind of cool but there is a bigger one too there's a bigger one here which is kind of cool because this is b31 so I do kind of like this that um there is a little tag here that has the word b on it so I could just take that off, but I don't know. And then there's that size too. Um, there's that. There's this. Um, yeah, I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Although I do kind of like this too with the, nope, I think I'm going to use this. I was going to say, I kind of like that with the brads, but then I was thinking if I did that, then the tuck wouldn't work as well because things would probably get stuck on it and it'd end up being just a big hot mess. So, um, so I'm going to keep all this little bee stuff together so I have it and I can use it in a little bee kit so I think I am just going to ink around this and then I'm going to glue that in the center of that and I think that will work really well of course my glue is not going to work it's leaking it's like got this big um leaking thing going lately and I'm sorry I think I just hit my camera stand Hopefully this will work. All right, so I think I'm just gonna put that kind of right in the center of there. Just kind of give it a little finishing touch so it's not so, so plain. So there we go. So we have our tag here. Our, our, our card, our postcard here. Glue stuck all over my finger now. Um, our postcard here. And I, do, I don't mind that it's kind of ripped on the edge like that. I am going to ink that a little bit right there, I think. Just to give that part of the card showing an inked, more of an inked edge. So I don't mind that it's ripped like that. That doesn't bother me. If it bothers you, then obviously don't do that. 
Um, and then we've got our tuck here. So we've got our tuck here that we can journal in the back of this. And that will go in there. And then um, in the back, I will make this a pocket and I will have um, these two tags. So I have two tags and I'm not gonna do anything to these tags. I'm just gonna leave them the way they are. Um, this is pretty bulky as it is. So I don't really wanna bulk it up anymore with other things. So I am just going to leave it like that. So that is our finished card. So I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, yeah, if you want those recipes, um, then email me and I will send them to you. Um, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye.